WWE legend Stone Cold Steve Austin says he's doing well after he was involved in a wreck yesterday on his buggy that he is known to ride around the Broken Skull Ranch. Just yesterday, Stone Cold Steve Austin used his buggy to pull his trailer several miles away from his home. After he staged his trailer, he then left out solo on his buggy, hitting a few ruts, which ultimately caused the buggy to turn over, and Steve Austin was unable to exit. Eventually, multiple people uh, came to help Stone Cold and got him out of the buggy. He says that he was wearing all of his safety equipment, which ultimately helped him in this scenario. But here's what Steve Austin had to say following the crash. Hey, what's up? It's Steve coming to the Broken Skull Ranch. Out here checking on old Poncho. Poncho's had a long day, man. He's trying to wind down. All right, Poncho, I'm gonna leave you alone, buddy. I know you're just chilling out. Hey, man, making this video to send a quick shout out and a big thank you to a friend of mine, Phil Licardi. I follow him here on Instagram. His handle is Liberty Mountain Fabrication. Phil is a fabricator, tune shocks. I mean, he's extremely well known in the race community and uh especially around this area if not nationwide and worldwide he's the man so anyway uh, i took off from my house today with my buggy and my trailer i went about 15 miles down the road and stage and uh got my buggy off my trailer and hauled ass got into a bad set of ruts about 12 miles down the road and uh tried to get out of those ruts my buggy went katie Womp saw me and ended up on his side and uh, God dang, I almost saved that son of a bitch too. About three or four miles an hour and that son of just turned over on the passenger door. And uh, man, I'm good because I had my helmet on, had my Hans device on, had my gloves on. I was strapped in with the five point harness and I was just sitting there on my side and I unclicked my harnesses and tumbled down like a pile of shit, climbed out through the window and said, well, <clears throat> what the fuck am I going to do now? Cause I didn't know who to call. And I take a lot of pride in being able to get myself out of every jam I always get into because hell I got to because I ride by myself. But on this occasion, being on my passenger door, I tried to push that damn buggy over, but me against 2,200 pounds, it didn't, didn't go so good. So anyway, uh, here comes a buggy full of people and they stopped and asked if I was okay and needed some water and all that stuff. And uh, they went on about their way after we talked for a minute. And then they came back. Because the driver of the buggy is a guy named Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie follows me on Instagram. And he saw when I was driving to Kawasaki, he said, man, that's got to be Steve Austin. And it was. And so we took a picture together. Appreciate you guys stopping. Then another guy stopped. And uh, him and his sons looked like he was going out to shoot shotguns. And they got on their way after checking on me and asking if they could help me. But anyway, uh, Phil came out with uh, another Jeep and three other guys. And... Uh, Instead of hooking on to the buggy, we just all got on the side of it and pushed it over. Then Phil hooked on to my bumper. And while I got it, we backed up, got, got it back in the road and uh, fired up, started right up. And uh, long story short, that's the end of the story. But you go out riding in the desert, like I said, man, it, it, it's not if, it's when. And so I was ready for the win. I had my helmet on, uh, I was buckled in, had a great roll cage. And it was slow speed by the time I stopped. It just tipped over. A little embarrassing, actually, but nonetheless, Phil dropped everything, and that's a busy son of a bitch. So he dropped everything and uh, brought help out there to get my ass out of trouble. So, dude, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, all is good. I'm just going to give Poncho a pet and get down there and eat supper. And that's the bottom line because I said so. Thanks, Phil. Thankfully, Stone Cold is doing well, as we heard there, but it's got to be a pretty scary situation to be in when 2,200 pounds of equipment are laying on top of you and you're not able to exit. You're not near your home. You're not near any, really, civilization. But fortunately, uh, folks showed up and were able to get Stone Cold out of the buggy and uh, he's able to bring this news to us today himself. And it's really great to hear that you're doing well, champ. As always, guys, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. That's your latest update. Be sure to subscribe down below as well so you never miss out on any breaking news and updates.